So we're looking in number 10 in chapter 10. A certain disease has an incident rate of 0.7%. And we're going to start right there. So we're going to pick population size. I chose 1,000 because uh, with that, there's an easy number. You should always choose a power of 10. I chose 1,000, not 100, because I needed to get 0.7%. And if I went with 0.7% of 1,000, that gives me seven people have the disease. 993 do not. So that takes care of this part. Now we're gonna move on to the next part. The false negative rate is 3%. All right, so where's the false negative? I have a red circle here, negative. What does false mean? It means you test negative, but you have the disease. So that's 3%. So that means seven people, uh, out of the seven people, uh, some small portion are gonna have an incorrect test here. How many? So here's our 3% and there's seven people total. So seven times 0 0.03, I'm using a separate calculator. And we got 0.21. So that's how many people uh, have the disease and test negative. Now we're gonna look at the uh, false positives, meaning they do not have the disease and they're testing positive. So that rate is 5%, I have that rate here, 5% of the people without, which is 993. 993 times 0.05 is 49.65. Okay, so we need to figure out the other two entries in this table and your uh, people with the disease, there's seven total. So these two boxes have to add up to make seven. So that's some easy subtraction. So that gives us uh, six point seven nine six point seven nine plus point two one gives us seven and for this other one down here we can just do a subtraction on the calculator nine nine three minus forty nine point sixty five gives us nine forty three point three five and again if I add up the bottom row right here, those two need to add up to 993. Okay, now what are we asked about? Compute the probability that a person who tests positive actually has the disease. So first thing we need to figure out, how many people are testing positive? I'm gonna switch over to green. Total, so this is test positive. Now it's the sum of those two numbers. So it's 6.79 plus 49.65 gives us 56.44. That's total testing positive. Now, what's the probability that somebody testing positive, so one of these people, actually has the disease? So we have the numbers we need. So we have how many people are uh, testing positive with the disease is 6.79. positive and disease divided by the total number that tested positive, total positive. And just divide these, we'll get that 6.79 divided by 56.44 so we get, this is equal to 0 0.12030478. Probably don't need that much accuracy. Uh, but again, that's not a percent. They want to know, oh, probability. So that would be the probability if you wanted to go percent. You just move the decimal place over. 12.030478. Four, eight, oops, eight, and then percent. So that would be the percentage. 
Uh, that is quite a high percent. Uh, but unfortunately with these tests, you do not get 100% accuracy. So there are people without the disease testing positive and people with the disease testing negative. Hopefully those two are as small as possible if your test is good.